Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a really good friend of mine. This is Jimmy Troy. And we met uh, in a pretty weird way. How did we meet? Yeah, we met like uh, giving naked lap dances in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> we were both dancers. I think you guys know I danced for like two months. Well, Jimmy here's the pro at it. He's been doing it for what, like... Yeah, like five years. Yeah, he's been doing it for five years now. Yeah. And you're still going strong with it? Yeah, it's it's been a long time, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You're still going to do it in the foreseeable future? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Hopefully. A little bit longer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it's, it's pretty crazy. Like, every night's different, you know? There's never a night that's like the last one, so... You yeah. You don't know what's going to happen or who you're going to meet. So it can be fun like that. Yeah. 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 That's how it was like for me. Like I danced for two months, but uh, no, yeah, that's, that's totally what it's like. But I'm going to be giving Jimmy a lap dance tonight to show you guys how to properly do one. Uh, he was nice enough to volunteer. <laughs> so uh, yeah, let's get into it. Let's do it. All right. Step number one, the most important step, mounting. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and just mount your client like this, right? Oh, yeah. You want to make sure that your hips are spread on top of theirs and you get right into the riding. So after you mount, you kind of go with the flow of the music and you want to just push your hips into there. Right? Just like this. Yeah. Yeah. And what you're doing is you're just grinding against their uh, their junk to get them excited. <laughs> See, Jimmy's already grabbing my ass. <laughs> Can't help it. And the next step that you want to do after mounting is you want to get physical and start touching. So what I'll do is when I'm riding and he's grabbing like that. I'll slowly start touching his hands, his arms, you know. And he, he obviously has clothes on if he's at a strip club. But you wanna just like brush their body up and down like this. And pay attention to details too. Like I have a lot of, I used to have a lot of customers that you could tell they love their nipples rubbed. So like, I would like just slowly go in and play with their nipples. <laughs> like that and some guys love their earlobes rubbed and massaged it's like you're riding but you're also kind of like taking it slow right slowly playing with them making them a little back rub and then after i'm done like rubbing them down and making them feel comforted and establishing that connection with them i'll usually get in close like this and i'll like wrap them in my arms so they can smell my stinky pits <laughs> no but really like they want to like lick your chest and like touch you so they um yeah i usually just get them close like that and i wrap them i kind of cradle i call it the cradle you want to cradle them and after you've done all that it's time to get sexual right that stage should take you probably I don't know, if you did all those things right, that should take you almost an entire song of just a lot of foreplay. And when you know the next song's coming up after like two, two and a half minutes, you kind of want to turn them on so that they want another song, right? So, you know, you might want to grind harder, you might want to grab their hands and like have them touch you and have them touch your junk. Uh, just stuff like that to really get them excited. And usually they'll go for another song if they're dancing with me or Jimmy. <laughs> but um, when you start cramping, because I guarantee you, you're gonna start cramping at some point and you wanna take a little break, do this really easy thing where you just dismount them, literally just turn around, stretch your legs out and just kind of sit on them. Don't put all your weight on them, but you know, just put enough weight where they can like feel it. And you just want to thrust your chest forward and your ass back, you know, like this. And you're just grinding on them. 
I'll put my hands on my knees. Hey, I want you guys to see this better. I'll put my hands on my knees like this, right? And it's kind of like twerking. <laughs> A really bad way of twerking. But you just do this and you rub on them and kind of like throw it back a little bit. And then um, another thing I'll do to get intimate is kind of just slowly lean back. You know, put your weight on them. They want to feel it. So you just kind of like put your weight on them. Oh, yeah. Start like rubbing your, your butt on them. <laughs> this video is going to take it down. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the basics. And then if you... You know, if they still want to go, you can like whisper things in their ear. Oh, you're so much fun, dude. Yeah. You like when I ride you? <laughs> Those are the basics. If you're looking to become a stripper or you've never been to a strip club before, uh, that's what you can expect. And yeah, everyone, thank Jimmy for being a really good uh, model for me to dance on. Yeah. Thanks, guys, for watching. And by the way, I learned everything from this guy right here. When I first started at the strip club, <laughs> I literally had no idea what I was doing. I would just mount someone and kind of just sit there and, like a dead fish. I used to look over at Jimmy and some of the other guys to like learn what to do. I literally learned everything just by watching him. So. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I, I definitely did that. Um, but thanks. If you guys like this, give it a like and... Uh, subscribe for more content. <laughs> Alright, peace out.